placed the the previous top five. He's outplaced everyone by a country mile. The closest to touch him is Knight. Yeah, and Knight in fifth, whereas Tyroy has third on lock. And if he manages to pull probably his biggest upset of the day against Mr. R, that'd be crazy. Oh, man. Yeah. If you guys don't put him at, like, zero on your PR, I'll be so mad. <laughs> Nah, I think he's going to be de facto. Like, de facto number one is coming into play here. This tournament is huge. And, you know, there's a pretty good chance we'll see him out, out Fox. Um, the drive from Champagne to Indianapolis is actually shorter than the drive from Chicago. Oh, okay. So, so it's, like, right on the Indiana border. Mm -hmm. Nice. It's Shambana is it's two hours approximately straight south. So you get to skip that part of the drive, and then you go straight east to gotcha. get to Indy. So... It's, a, it's like a one and change hour drive. So hopefully we'll see him next week compete against some of these other world-class names. Including uh, runbacks against Mr. R and Ally. Now, his set with Ally and winners was such a nail-biter. Mm -hmm. I cannot believe that. He, he was this close. Yeah, and then just the reverse 3-0 from Ally. Like, what? Uh, That's why Ally gets paid the big bucks. Right. <laughs> but, hey, man, Mr. R definitely looking to make some of those big bucks himself. The best player in Europe, uh, hailing from the Netherlands. Taking a pretty extended stay in the U.S., so you're going to be seeing a lot of him and two times in a row in the Midwest because he'll be at um, Outfox as well. Yes. He's, we're happy to have him, but uh-oh. Oh, my What's God. Happening? All off Is of the neutral air? No, no. He needed to do the side B the other direction. This time, a little bit of a panic move, and he doesn't have a jump, actually. I think he's just dead. Yep. Wow. Okay. Because he never touched the ground after trying to go for that uh, right, zero for to that death combo, string. Yeah. And... Mr. R read that perfectly. He just kept pressuring him off the stage. And without that second jump, Bandai's recovery is actually kind of limited. Yeah, it really is. She needs to do up B and then a second jump and then another up B. Oh, is that it? Is yes. She, yes. This is, wow, this is new Sheik, man. Yes, yeah, she fell. No, I mean, like, is it going to reach? You oh. know, that fist reaches real high, but I don't think if Mr. R wasn't on the, the fall down from there, if he wasn't on his way down, I don't think that would have connected. Oh, my God. Sometimes, that's yes. a little scary right there. That, that was a tense moment. Oh, and Mr. R dropping the punish on the side B kick, even with the five extra frames of ending lag that move got. It is kind of, I guess, daunting to punish because she swings all the way around her, but you, you just got to know. Did Mr. R get to play QB? At, mm, I, I don't at, believe they encountered each other, but they you know, they stayed in the same house, so they played a whole bunch of games. I was hearing weird stories about QB's secondaries. Were you? Uh, no, Renai. Oh, Renai's secondary. Renai, Lucina, yeah. Really good, but uh, right that's now, neither here nor there, I suppose. This is, I think, Mr. R's real ticket to winning this matchup is the way she wins all action. Neutral, 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 neutral. Right. And you see that reflected in his percent here. Yeah, there's no reason for him to take any risks against Bayonetta right now, but she is very good at breaking zones. I actually wonder, uh, does her side B go underneath the yes. That's a great question to lab. Um, I wouldn't be able to tell you. Uh, New needles, they're they if they clanked before the patch, they clank after the patch for sure. Well, they're transcendent, so it wouldn't clank anyway. Oh, but right. it's it's more about like the actual hurt box positioning. It looks like she would go under the needles. They didn't receive any vertical nerfs. So, uh, right, and remember that oh, by retreating the ledge, he negates all that RCO lag. Wow, this is such a tense moment. I really thought the end of Tyro was about to happen there, but uh, Mr. R with the bouncing fish that would have been the game. Oh, oh no. no, and he gets the up, he out of shield, but nice avoidance DI here from Mr. R. Mixing up the DI possibly. Uh-oh. Woo! Persistent here is Tyroy. Yeah, he's, he's getting every percent he can get. Really not getting this up by any That flank is going to oh. trade so well for Mr. R. Gets that game one. All Definitively. Right. Uh, not so definitively. Hey, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was like 80%. He was a witch time to up smash away from losing that. Mr. R is showing what um, a lot of these other guys have not been so keen at is this avoidance DI. Mm -hmm. He's been sneaking out of those uh, pretty well. Um, he didn't get zero to death at one point. Right. Zero to death actually led to him taking a stock when Tyra overextended. And that's a big deal here. Now, one saving grace in favor of Sheik in this matchup is that she's a fastballer. So that it's maybe not a saving grace, more so as a double-edged sword, because at lower percents, she's going to fall too fast to get comboed by Bayonetta's side Bs. But at higher percents, it makes her stay in the combos longer. Like when other characters would normally be popped too high, she actually just stays in the combo. Yes. So we'll see if Tyra is able to adjust and capitalize on that. Oh, Mr. R changing uh -oh. his tag. Are we going to have the, the salty ally? something. Uh, Ally's know. tag's on there. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what this kid is looking for. Maybe he's trying to channel Ally's powers and 
pick Rob <laughs> and run a reverse 3-0 on, on Tyroi. <laughs> I don't know. I okay. really do want to see um, Tyroi versus Ally the run back, though. I want Ally to go Rob against Mr. R if he wins. Mm. I'm going to tell him. <laughs> that would be hype. Okay. That'd be interesting. That's a matchup I don't know if it's so... Uh, I'm pretty sure Seek's still that one. Let's just put that yeah. yeah. Probably. But, Town of City... Um, Mr. R with the, the teabags, dude? He was just teabagging like a 16-year-old on Halo Online. Sometimes you just gotta, you gotta throw out that high school... That high school BM. Yeah. You just gotta let it ride. <laughs> the juvenile BM. I mean, Bayonetta is, is the taunt canceler. True. That, that is important tech for any Bayonetta to know day one. Yeah, make your opponents really mad and then combo them for 80 <laughs> uh, A funny story about Zenodo that he told me at Landlock is his eight year old cousin landed a 0 to 80% combo on him with Bayonetta. So. Excuse me? <laughs> pay, pay to win a little bit. All right, yeah. Let's get back. <laughs> yeah. Okay. This is, again, a little bit of a repeat. Oh, of Mr. That. R making excellent use of the balloon. I know that was intentional. Mm -hmm. Cheeky little kid right there. Mr. R, you know, he's been witch timed one time. Um, <laughs> yeah. He's dodged quite a few of them. And. Oh! Ooh. Okay, we're going to have. What? What? Light up till cheek up is smash. light. Thank you, Rage, and thank you, a the Fist of an Angry God. Yeah, a mixture of Rage, Sakurai. And That's enough. Oh, okay, Bayonetta, though. <laughs> Even lighter than post-patch Sheik, I'm quite sure. You know, we're, seeing, we're seeing some cheap kills here from both of these players, and now we have an even game. I'm just still so surprised that <laughs> Mr. R died from that. He was at, like, 55 Dude, before Sheik, the end. Yeah, new Sheik. That right. might be the most significant nerf at, at the end of the day. Possibly, yeah. Once this, like, the Sheik meta will develop beyond the 50-50s. The throws, yeah. It'll, be, it'll develop into something completely different maybe six months from now. But that weight difference That's not is going gonna anywhere, be man. crucial. Yeah. Shout out to Sheik for being one of the few who uh, lost the weight and kept it off. <laughs> yeah, if they patch that weight back in, I would be shocked. I'd be this, is, this is the world that Sheik's had to live in. But where are we at? Uh-oh. Where are we at? Yeah. Uh, I thought he was going to Marvel Cap Marvel's yeah. Capcom to him. I thought he was going to do a side B at least into the up air. It wouldn't have killed at 72, I don't think. But hey, man, I'm not the Bayonetta in Losers Finals right now. I, I have no... Ooh, okay, oh we're living. God. That was so close. Yeah, it was. I mean, I know Bayonetta's light, but even then, that kind of would have been a stretch. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Raw up B. And again, this DI from Mr. R is fantastic. And again, Tyrant did not have his jump. I think. Yeah, I know he doesn't. But he makes oh, but it back. enough to make it with the Fantastic side B. Side B. Oh! Jumps, catches right it. Right into it. We have a 2-0 lead here for Mr. R. It's going to have some kind of miraculous adjustment from Tyro. Yeah, I think uh, maybe even after this nerf, Sheik still might have a handle on this matchup. Yeah, he, it's feeling pretty good here for Sheik, especially when you've got the DI on hack. And what Tyro is, again, looking at that CSS. Yeah, and uh, very wise to know. Excuse me. Jeez, do I have the hiccups or something? Uh, anyway, uh, what I was going to say is that if you think of the typical best thing that everyone talks about when you talk about Sheik, it's that neutral game. Mm -hmm. And if anyone ever talks about the flaws of Bayonetta, it's her neutral game. Yeah. So we're seeing this kind of line up, although once Bayonetta gets a hit, it's almost like all that damage that you earned in neutral as Sheik is completely invalid. Yeah. Although we haven't seen... Uh, ladder to death. We haven't seen a victory right. screen. We haven't seen a uh, stairway to heaven. I think those are. I think covered them all. Is there any other names for that combo? <laughs> yeah, please keep them coming though. And I gotta say, Tyroi might be a contender for the cleanest bayonet eyes. Um, I just cleaner than QB. I, I mean, dude, the QB looked almost a little bit like reserved in his Bayonetta play, whereas Tyroid just goes in. You know, he just does his thing, nothing stopping him. QB almost a little bit too calculated, although, you know, they're very comparable in yes. terms of their tournament performance, at least. Mm -hmm. Right now, Tyroid, again, finds himself at a little bit of a deficit, but he's just looking for that one opening. He wants to take him for a ride. Yes, he does. It. Start up that Marvel 2. No, just the big combo. Yeah. yeah, and that's definitely enough to make it worth his time. And see, there we go. She yep. being too fast of a faller, especially if you supplement that with DIing down out of the um, up B. I'm hmm. pretty sure that just makes it real this hard. This is another air dodge. And again, falling out. So, also, something I've noticed about Tyroi is that when people fall out of his combos, he starts going for witch time because it's like, oh, I fell out of Bayonetta's combos. Now's my chance to hit her. 
So it's very smart. And, and I think he's also doing it as like a little bit of a momentum cancel. Like it slows down your fall. Oh, is that gonna be it? Yes! Wow. We finally get the combo landed here on Mr. R. This is Tyra's first lead in this set. That's huge. And hitting with the front hit of the up air, which actually comes out last. It starts in the back. Oh, and again, just jumping right into a bouncing fish. That's Mr. R is reading that very well. Yeah, that's still such a scary setup. Um, Tyra's been actually using that second jump a lot on the stage here. Right. Um, I think he just doesn't want to air dodge because that's the go-to scrub what? option. It's like, oh, what? mash on my trigger. What? That was eight F tilts. Yeah, with those perfect pivot follow-ups, man. Taking a page out of Boyd's book. Mm -hmm. Mr. R, he spent a lot of time in a bunch of Woo! different regions in the U.S. And misses the second one. Okay. That was scary yeah. again. That went from being like, okay, nobody's really in danger of dying. Let me talk about something to, oh, my God, who's going to die right now? That's this new meta, man. People die. It's crazy. If they are killed. <laughs> yes. One of my favorite things about Tyra's Bayonetta also is how he goes for short hop up air, and then before he lands, he'll do an up beat out of it, which can either combo or just be like a movement uh, technique just to, you know, adjust the spacing. <gasps> uh oh. Oh, oh no. Side B in there yep. instead. I don't know if that up B would have actually connected out of that pair one, just the way it was landed. Right. It could have, though. Yeah. Whoop. I guess okay. the world will never know, but. Will Mr. R manage to pull off the clean 3-0? Oh, Tyra with wants the he wanted that roll. I'm not yeah, I'm not sure if it. he misread or like, you know, didn't uh, start covering the roll until too late, or if that was just actually a spacing error. Gets another up E. Man, Red Sheik is so there. tough to combo. When you're Mr. R Sheik. Yeah, but I feel like it's more of the character's falling speed rather than mm -hmm. the player's DI. So I guess, you know, Tyra either has to adjust his combos here or He's got to come up with something else. And there he times his jump later. And I want to see him just throw that up smash win. When right. Oh, is this it? That's it. Okay. There it is. Tyra putting himself on the board, pulling that barely out with 140% on the verge of getting 3 0'd, but gets him with the gun stay. heals. Yeah. And again, the front hit, which, you know, mm -hmm. after the full arc of her kick will connect. And that was enough to kill the newly lighted Sheik. She's got, she's got a weight off her shoulders. She's ready for a new meta, and she's got a 2-1 lead here. Let's see if it's enough, or if Tywick can run it back. And now player two leading in the KO count by four. Oh, wow. He, yep. he went on a tear, dude. Let's well, see. he has a 2-1 lead, so. That's true. Predictably, I think he has the, the well, kill lead. Well, if Tyroy wins the next two games, that'll add four to his kill count and only two to Sheik. So potentially player two, Sheik. well, potentially two to Sheik. Yeah, if Although he gets Tyroy, two stock if twice. If Tyroy two stock Sheik, uh, His, his only R. way to keep it even is to two stock Mr. R twice. So um, that's the secret mission. That's like the <laughs> achievement unlock bonus points. But the actual task at hand here is to just beat Mr. R in this Before set. Before this tournament, if you asked me, Tom, do you think Tyreg could double two stock Mr. R in this tournament? <laughs> I'd be like, are you mad, dude? But yeah, like, no. <laughs> you know, we are we are here now. It is technically possible. Anything is possible after the things I've seen today, dude. I am. I'm, Completely amazed. amazed by Tyroy's play. Double eliminating Huga. Almost 3 0 ally. Mm -hmm. And now, possibly on the verge of taking out Mr. R, but not quite. Trying to get that up tilt. Not um, still trying to cover so much of these up. He is out of the ground, out of shield. It's really her best out of shield option. Yeah, yeah, no, by far. She has almost nothing even even good out of shield uh -huh. aside from that up beat. Ooh, so I guess you chasing. know what you're going to get, but it's still just. It blows up every jump in, and even grounded hits on shield. Also, Mr. R counterpicked this stage. Yeah, that's really weird. Town and State, the land of the Umber Witch. Is, is that is that what they call it around here? I don't know. I just made that up. <laughs> I say a lot of dumb things on streams, so we'll call that one. We'll put that we'll, <laughs> we'll put that one in the idea box for later. We'll we'll work on it. Oh, Tyra just dive kicking right in Mr. R's face. It's not going to cost. You want to land that on the shield. Yeah, and see, that was some serious nerfing coming into play. You saw that down throw just not even close to a follow-up. Uh, this time managing to actually jump away from the Bouncing Fish rather than straight into it. And Tyra makes some adjustments. Attacks. Ledge Trump, they're coming out. Yeah, not going to kill even the very light Bayonetta. Oh, my God! Chill out, Mr. R. He went so deep. He has a habit of doing that. And there, that still covers so many options on Ledge Trump. Mmm! Oh, and that one will actually finish the job. A little more rage and a little more percent on Bayonetta as well. Now, do you think losing the rage actually might help his ladder combo? It's possible. Although, oh, wow. Mr. R went way far out of that one. That was some serious DI. A couple oh, catches the air dodge. That's enough. Oh, no. I, I, 
that up smash was like might have that was, that was not the play dude that was yeah. way too obvious there oh it is my god sneaks out that back air we have a whole new set. The, chat, the crowd in Chicago is getting a little rowdy the, for their boy. Dude, I've also accidentally called the crowd the chat before it. The chat. <laughs> <laughs> the live Twitch chat. Oh, and again, she being a fastballer, making these combos really difficult for Bayonetta. Normally, you can get fair one into dive kick on a lot of characters. But yeah, she just sinks like a rock. And that's unsafe. He's still throwing that out. You have to mix it up. Okay, he timed his second up a little weirdly there. Yeah, I'm not sure what he was looking for there. I think he wasn't sure what side Bayonetta started up on, so. That was then gonna get through that bouncing fish, take the damage, but you don't mind it. So oh! oh cleaned him right up! Oh, Mr. That was tight. R! Alright, Mr. R. You still got it, kid. You still got it. Yeah, he's got it. And he's looking for that run back, and he's gonna. That's gonna be exciting. Sheik nerfs or not. Yeah, that up smash. Hasn't been touched. No, not at all. And if you air dodge, and Chicago likes to air dodge, you're gonna you're gonna take it. You're gonna have a bad time.